hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today i am with another important passing package video or a scoring video for the material science and engineering subject for the mechanical engineering students okay msc so it is subject code is bme303 if you are a student watching this video two days before examination or one day before examination then definitely you have to go for the three modules fully over there okay or uh, you can cover four modules to pass this subject if anybody wants to score so they have to completely uh, focus on all the modules and whatever the topics I have mentioned in these uh, modules you have to go through and you can easily score in this particular subject as it is the theoretical subject okay let me discuss first the passing modules over here which are the passing modules okay so module uh, first is one among the passing modules over there okay let me discuss some important questions very fast over here let me brush up uh, I don't want to make this video too long over there okay differentiate between crystalline and non crystalline solids or amorphous solids you can easily see difference between crystalline and amorphous solids definitions like atomic packing factor coordination number lattice and crystal <clears throat> also difference between edge and screw dislocation and explain plastic deformation by slip and twinning phenomena and calculate the atomic packing factor <clears throat> these are the super important questions in this module like bcc body centered cubic cell and uh, face centered cubic cell and hexa close packed so definitely they will ask you uh, from these uh, three cubic cells oh, okay you have to draw a neat sketch with neat sketch you have to draw these body centered face centered and uh, hexa close packed so that you can calculate the atomic factor okay so these are the important ones focus on these uh, three particular cells over there explain different types of imperfections imperfections with neat sketches explain point defects with neat sketches and also 2d and 3d defects explain concept of free volume in amorphous solids so this much content is enough uh, to cover the module first okay so you have to go through these questions no need to uh, what we call remember the unnecessary things as it is uh, impossible i can say that for an engineer to complete uh, the syllabus over there okay lot of syllabus is there in these subjects so you cannot cover the full syllabus at least you can cover these important questions whichever i have mentioned okay next is the module 2 which is also a passing module in which super important questions i have mentioned <clears throat> with neat sketch state and explain gibbs phase rule and liver rule describe the different types of solid solutions explain homo three rules for solid solution state and explain fixed law either it may be first and second uh, both laws they will ask you state and explain fixed law of diffusion and also discuss factors affecting diffusion right next is uh, with the help of neat sketch explain iron carbon diagram right invariant reaction and microstructures of different phases this is very very important question 10 marks question it will be asked in the examination okay so next is define phase diagram explain its applications explain the effect of alloying elements to the steel so these are the important questions in the module 2 if you want to pass this subject okay next is module 3 uh, in which super important question is like explain homogeneous nucleation and discuss the significance of critical radius or they may ask you like this define homogeneous and heterogeneous nucleation obtain an expression for critical radius of nucleation uh, both uh, in both ways they can ask you okay next is uh, draw the ttt diagram for plan eutectoid steel and explain the critical cooling rate okay this is again an important question 10 marks question ttt diagram next explain the following what is annealing normalizing hardening tempering nitriding os tempering and cyaniding or sometimes they may ask you difference between annealing or normalizing sometimes difference between annealing and hardening like that okay these are also the heat treatments or they may they may ask you like what is heat treatment explain types of heat treatments okay this is the same question next explain induction hardening and flame hardening with neat sketch right next is explain any two strengthening mechanisms so this is the content from the module third which you have to cover accordingly okay so make sure you will write down these topics on the a4 sheet like i have written over here so that it will become easy for you people okay to focus on the topics next is model fifth using a neat sketch explain the process of preparation of metal matrix composite mmc's using melting and casting method right first question next is compare mmc's with pmc's and cmc's so you have to go through these all topics mmc pmc and cmc's okay next is define composite uh, give its classification and write down the advantages disadvantages and applications of composites okay write a note on particulate reinforce reinforced and 
fiber reinforced composites okay write a short note on it you can go through these topics and try to understand the concepts in your own convenient language so that you can write down it in your own words in the examination that will be better for you okay as much as possible you have to write down the theory in the examination they will give you marks i believe that they will give the marks if you write the uh, more theory in the examination at least cover 25 to 30 pages in the examination for these theoretical subjects differentiate between ferrous and non-ferrous materials <coughs> next give brief classification of ferrous materials give the compositions and applications of gray cast iron next give the compositions and applications of copper brass and bronze right what is the selection criteria of materials and what are the material property charts okay next important is briefly explain types of design and design tools so this is all about the module fifth in which you have to cover these topics right so next is module four uh, with the neat sketches explain chemical vapor deposition CVD uh, explain uh, high velocity oxy fuel coating and electroplating and physical vapor deposition these are the terminologies and uh, with the neat sketches you have to explain it next is what is the surface coating write the advantages disadvantages of surface coating fine next is write down the applications of powder metallurgy and discuss the role of lubricants and binders in powder metallurgy okay explain the process of sintering in powder metallurgy and what is the significance of particle size and <clears throat> and a shape di distribution in powder metallurgy okay these are the important topics in this and explain the process of powder production in powder metallurgy like chopping or cutting uh, these may be the separate questions also in the examination and ball milling and chemical methods so go through it these are the important topics which i have written it and analyzed it from the previous year papers and also from your syllabus copy i hope you will cover these topics if you want to score so go through full modules go through all the modules and if you want to pass go through uh, three modules fully and at least take uh, one or two questions from the rest of the uh, two modules like module four and module fifth okay and also you get that uh, another strategy is to cover four modules and you can leave module fifth okay so that you can pass easily the subject over there so all the best for your examination as uh, third set third sem examinations are in the march month okay as i am observing there is uh, only one one gap maybe in your timetable okay so better to cover these uh, portions earlier otherwise it will become very difficult for you people to cover these portions in only one day over there as one day gap is there so you should not uh, take this risk so before you complete all these topics so all the best for your examination thank you for watching my video